today in the salon. Oh, no, there's, there's AD all gets scissor happy. Uh, variations, Bob, there's a one length Bob, there's a graduated Bob, there's a lay Bob, there's a textured Bob. Hunger strikes Ricardo. I'm hungry. <laughs> and Sandra gets some hands-on treatment. This is the salon. For the next eight weeks, we are inviting you to book an appointment for a haircut at one of its five cutting stations or beauty treatments ranging from waxing and massage to all over tanning and Botox in the salon's classy and relaxing spa and beauty area. 20 cameras and 30 microphones will capture the action daily and the whole operation will be overseen by salon manager Paul. He's the first to arrive at 10 to 10. Hi, <laughs> That's about it. No. Oh, is that changed? <coughs> stylist Sonia oh, yeah. and colour technician Melanie greet Hello. Ricardo, the last stylist to arrive. You're right. Has anything you changed? No. Uh, not much. Not much. Oh, oh we've got the hair dry yeah. things. That is good. His staff of stylists, beauticians, colour technician and juniors all arrive for their first team meeting together. One staff member is yet to arrive. Sandra, the receptionist, is late. Sarah. Morning, everyone. Oh, sorry. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is what happens when you live oh, in posh suburbs. Paul has a few ideas. Thank you, Lydia, for that. Posh suburbs. down the law. This is our sort of first day. I know we've had, a, we've had a couple of days last week to kind of get the feel of the place. We've got um, quite a bit to cover. We've got, I'm going to have a team meeting with you guys for about 20 minutes now. We've got clients in at half ten, which is going to be the same every day. So now, obviously, day one. It's, it's going to get a little bit, not serious, it's going to get a little bit more professional. So for me, it's all about delivering the ultimate experience in hair and, and treatments. All right, we've got to try and set an example to the salon that you work in, to the salon where you've come from, to the salon where I've come from. So when they go back, they're like, actually, that was good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's very important for me that each member of the team has a fashionable look, stylish look. I've got an opinion on the way people look, and I, th and I think it's really important. Uh, so if I do pull you up and say, not today, that's not working, then don't take it personally, it's just, it's just the way I would work. Yeah? And that, and that could be, and, it, and it's not about jeans or wearing black, or it's not about that. It's about, that you, you can dress down, but made an effort, and it looks cool. And that, to me, that's important. Yeah, yeah, looking like you've made an effort. <coughs> All right, uh, we've got clients in now. Yeah. I, know, I know you've got a bit of work to do in the treatment room, so yeah. if you, you start crack on, on that. Cool, let's put the chairs back and let's rock and roll. Fashion tips oh, aside, yeah. the salon busies itself up with the first client. <laughs> <of> the <day. laughs> what are we doing then today? Cut and blow dry, is it? Yeah. Right, yeah. any yeah. ideas or...? Um, very similar style, but... Yeah, do what you want. Right, OK, so I'll shape it. It's quite heavy here, isn't it, it is, at the back? Yeah, that's right, yes. Yeah. Today, three juniors start work in the salon. Vassos, Karina and Sharma Dean are here on a week's trial and will need to prove themselves to keep their job. There are only two full-time positions. On Thursday, Paul will announce which two juniors will stay and who will be let go. Oi. You got a... Just fruit it in. Sandra. If I could take your coats... While oh, yeah, Sonia gets to grips me. with her fine, 19-year-old Carly from this morning there. has put her hair Swindon. in the hands of stylist AD. Right she then. called the salon hotline last week, as she's been growing her hair for two years and she's never had it shorter yeah, than her shoulders. Yeah. Right, then, she wants the man haircut. who cuts right, David well, Beckham and Liza Minnelli to give her a new look for the new year. So you've taken... All right then, so how much length are we talking about? Because you can kind of see where I've been dyed and highlighted yeah. before, kind of up to there. So we're talking about a, a sort of bobby type length. Um, yeah, kind of a bob, but not so much of a bob in itself. No. So it's got. I know oh, there's all sorts of uh, variations, Bob. There's a one yeah, length bob. There's a graduated bob. There's a layered bob. There's a textured bob. Yeah, I've so, heard the advert. <laughs> so, so, so what I think we should do then mm -hmm. 
put in a nice one length, yeah. put in a simple few layers, mm -hmm. blow dry it, get it perfect and straight, mm -hmm. and then texture it. And what you'll end up with is a sort of nice, dicey, yeah. choppy, textured little number. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be one length and boring, but at the same time, it's not going to be laid yeah. to death. Okay, so, oh, okay. well, you go. You go. so once I've had the consultation and they've asked you, asked you to shampoo, you need to say, would you like to come through, sit them on the chair, explain the little... Yeah, and then come in here and get your gown. I'm just going to lob a bit of this off because it saves her colour in it, so... <laughs> Oh my god, that's Bob. fantastic. Just take this through a one length bob. <laughs> <laughs> Did you learn that at the abattoir, that one? <laughs> this is my first haircut. <laughs> <laughs> no graduation whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Clean that off. <laughs> uh, it's oh better already, doesn't it? It looks lovely. You're very brave. Fantastic. I think what we could do then, I mean, just put some blonde through it, some high lifts. Yeah. I think it'd be nice to stick a couple of bleach ones through it as well. Fantastic. And even perhaps put a few of her natural colours through it as well. So no when you problem. get your roots come through, it's not going to yeah. look so rooty. And uh, Fab. here you go, here's your Excellent, thank you. Excellent. So um, Melanie's going to take you away. Yeah. And she's going to make you look you beautiful. 23-year-old Susan also booked an appointment yeah. with Ricardo, saying she has fine hair that needs more texture. Sonia will do her colour. Paul looks on. He has high expectations of customer service. Ricardo, can I just put one? Sonia, quick, quick, We need to be doing a consultation at the same time. Oh, oh right. Because right. if you're going to graduate, it, you're going to highlight it. No one told me she was there. I know. No, but you need to work together. Right, mm. fine. All right? Yeah, we go at the really, same time. Same yeah. time. Really, okay. really important. Because you might be colouring right down here, and he might decide exactly, he's going to yeah. cut it all off. Yeah. All right? So, really important. Do it together. Yeah, okay. All right? And try not to Good. stand over the client. Get the store and sit down and just be really kind of professional yeah. at it, right? Yeah, no problem. Sorry about that. Yeah. No, it's no okay. problem. Yeah. I'm just going to trim, just really tidying up. I'm going to okay. take a little bit shorter here. Just right. chop in a little bit more. But really, just tidying up. Yes, yeah, just trim strong. Yeah, all right? All right, we'll have to remember that. Yeah, we have to. <laughs> it's nice to have another northerner. Oh, sorry, Midlander. Yeah, where are you from, then? Leeds. 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 Just to put a northerner on, eh? <laughs> A lot of people can't understand what you're saying. No. You know, like, how much? Or yeah. Are you having it cut? They're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> See, when they say, can I can have a cat and blow dry? Cat. cat, to me, is a four-legged animal. <laughs> yeah. With a tail. Actually, what we it's ten to one, and Bassos has been watching AD transform Carly's waist-length hair into something radically different. We get some different. fruit, bananas... As the staff are not allowed to leave the salon during opening hours, Sharma Dean takes the staff lunch. If we can get some lemons... Lunch. Yeah. If we can get some strawberries... Winter, hello. All right, tin, get the tin strawberries. Get a tin of strawberries. <laughs> now, I'll make a great little... Mate, I'm going to make you a wicked smoothie. OK. Yeah. Uh, get um, some, a couple of limes, you know, little limes. Yeah. Oh. If they've got a cooked chicken, I'll have a cooked chicken. Or, if you know, it's, like, hot, like a yeah, chicken yeah, leg or something. Yeah. No, 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 not chicken leg. No, I, I, you know, they do whole chickens there, don't they, in the See? supermarket? Oh, look, yeah. look, look, this is classic. Look. In the microwave. She's here for a big make. She's here for a big make -up. I'm talking about chicken legs. And <laughs> <laughs> she's like... <laughs> forget the air cut, that's boring. Yeah, um, I know what you mean. So you can put it in the microwave, yeah. Yeah. Where That's from my college. That's from my one college. Place where oh, is it? Really yeah, my college. Yeah, mine is Beauty junior Oliver well. and stylist Ricardo so bond okay. on a break between um, clients. Look at you with your makeup bag. <laughs> you girly thing. Oh, I know, I'm like. Oh, look who's talking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> this young lady's been very, very brave today, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. First time you've Two thirds of my hair cut off. <laughs> this, is, this is the juiciest haircut I've done all week. Since I've been here, really. <laughs> We've been here a week because I've had a lot of people just look trims and trims yeah. and trims. It's nice to cut a bit of hair off, do you know what I mean? I have. Oh, the pressure. Hurry up, because I've got to go. All right, all right, all right. Don't, don't rush me. Pressure. I was thinking microwave. Microwave?
Microwavable. So. Like a ready meal or something. It's going to be short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody said they were like, have you seen the 80s it's, um, it's number one. I, don't know I was like, yeah, it is. But it does put a lot of people off, but at the end of the day, it's not, it's not how I look. Oh, no. It's how you look at the end yeah. of the day that's important. And it's like, I do try and say this to people, you know, you don't... Don't worry about how my hair looks, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite cool because you've got those lines. At first I thought they were tram lines, but then they don't go all the way, do they? It's like a little barcode. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing for that? What have you got? What, what is this? I don't know. I've just started Look doing at this. this. That's oh, right. Yeah. That's what Face Ache has. That's what right. who? Um, what's his name? Manager, Paul. <laughs> is that yogurt? I'm yeah, he has that. that. Can yeah. I have like a raspberry one? Raspberry or strawberry? Big Uncan pot. Coming up in the salon, <laughs> hunger pangs. You think she's alive? Oh, I don't know. She's gone like it's a nearly an hour. Twin trims no, and funny. first day nerves. Well, I might get chipped off on Thursday off the show, yeah. The three new juniors have had a busy morning, but by the end of the week, one of them will be out of the job. Sharma Dean still hasn't come back from the lunch run. Ricardo can't contain his concern or hunger any longer. Where is it going with our lunch, bless her? This is going to be really tough. Someone go and get lunch. I think you should still get your Yeah, I think so. I think so. It's too much for one person to get. Can you imagine the money fit all? Yeah. I don't think it's a good idea. No, I don't think, think it is. Is your lunch break is now. So. Exactly. So I've got to think, but she just because she was going back, didn't think it would be this long. Yeah, it's gonna be ages. Oh, oh my God! Half an hour. She's not here yet. Mm -hmm. Is that on? No, it needs to be filled up because um, Sandra's so just ships. put all the uh, water in the watering can. I know, it? sorry. It's just, I originally boiled it to go in the watering can because I've got to use distilled water for the plants. Who went on that lunch anyway? Chardonnay. Charmadine. Charmadine. Do you think she's alive? Oh, I don't know. She's yeah. gone like oh. it's uh, nearly an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Karina and Bath. Sandra. Sandra, <laughs> did you give her money? <laughs> she's done a runner. <laughs> oh, Sandra. Oh, you want it? Oh, no. oh. Honestly. Oh, sorry, let me hear. Yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> You're not hungry. You're Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, Brazilian's never hungry? You know. An hour after she left the building, Sharma Dean finally returns with lunch. <laughs> Sharma Dean, where are you? I'm here. My Lord, you go for an hour. Where were you? Which one is mine? Sainsbury's is packed. <laughs> Cheese, chicken and bacon. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. Very oh that I is lovely. My sandwich. Coke. <gasps> She's back. The chicken's here. Did you get the chicken? Oi! Chicken and mash. Like mash? And I got some smash. Oh, yeah, I saw it. Lovely. Yeah? Yeah, lovely. She's brilliant. She's just done the bins and everything there. She's only in two minutes. Yes. Charmadine. Charmadine. Yeah. She's lovely. Mm. I like her. I do. We're, are we going to have a say? No, Paul's going to have a say. Yeah. Well, you might do because your hairdresser is the beauty one. Mm. It's four hours since she entered the salon, and Aidy is putting the finishing touches to Carly's dramatic new haircut. I'm <laughs> tickled. Stop it. Head bit more forward, please. Thank you very much. Match my trousers. <laughs> what you got, lasagna? No, it's like a chicken pasta thing. Mm. Really nice. It's the longest you've had anyone's spank cutting you. <clears throat> Pardon? Is this the longest anyone's yeah. ever spank cutting you? Can you put your head a little bit more? That's it. I'm happy with that. Thank you. Just blow you off.
taken in, but you just you look a lot you look a lot sexier. As well as the cutting floor, the salon is equipped with a sauna, so get, spa, um, and the double marks treatment on your, room. On your bottom and on your legs. Heather, an okay. ex-model, has brought her husband well. and two okay. teenage daughters in for an afternoon of relaxation and pampering. While Heather prepares for her massage with therapist Suzanne, her daughter Elizabeth has a facial with Sabrina. Model yourself. Right, I'm going to get you to sit up onto the couch for me, if you would, please. If I seen you, if I seen you out, I'd be all over you. Believe you get called Sarah Jessica Parker. Not so much. Well, nothing this year, um, since she's had her you hair do, straight. Just but now. last year, the most discreet way we can do it in here with the cameras. Um, last year, I got to the stage where I didn't want to walk out into the King's Road because people were actually coming up to me asking me for autographs. Really? And it was, it was really, you know, at the first it was funny, and then it just became annoying. <laughs> Sonia and Ricardo's final clients of the day are Ben and Tom, 25-year-old twins from Birmingham. What I always do in situations like this, okay. just lift up all that, clean on his neck hair, and just basically go through the whole thing I don't chip into it, but just go through the whole thing and just really deep point it and leave yeah. all the length. Yeah. Yeah. That looks cool. Yeah, I like that. Baggy yeah. over your ears. Yeah. It's all a bit sort of like as if you just got out of bed. It looks cool, I like cool, that, mate. yeah. Right, Tom. So, what has been happening here? Right, well, it hasn't been cut since um, about September. I want, decided I want to grow it. Um, I've just been away on holiday and I dyed it blonde. And it's gone green. Uh, and it's gone a bit... Uh, orangey and green, all yeah. the colours happening here. What are you yeah. going to do with the colour? Are you going to change well, it? I quite like it light. It's normally sort of the same colour yeah, as but you've my got brother. To but it's it down a bit. Yeah, it's true. a little bit too much bl yeah. plugged in, isn't it? Yeah, it was a self-do job, so... Yeah, it um, looks. <laughs> how does your skin feel? It feels so okay. much better. Than you got to start looking after it, eh? I do, I do, I do. I have had the flu for like... Really? You know, but even at your age, I know it's really. I mean, don't overdo it facials, but um, yeah. if you use a nice facial wash, gentle yeah. facial wash, and a gentle thing. I'm really homesick now, man. I can't believe it. It's like I come to London all the time, but it's not. It's always been like I've had a time when I can go home. Go home, yeah. But like now, it's kind of indefinitely. Well, I might get chipped off on Thursday off the show, yeah. Really? Yeah. Because there's like three, there's me, the guy in the black top over there that's cutting that girl's hair, uh -huh. and that blonde girl with the big tits, have you seen her? No, show me. <laughs> She's in the back, I think, and um, there's just three, and basically there's only two positions, so at the end of the week someone's got to come off. Oh, no, you'll be fine. Nice and black, don't you? <laughs> You've seen me black. Like Massage. Oh, yeah, that'd be lovely. Yeah, you like that little buzz, don't you? Mm. My lady's a little bit late already. What's the matter with these people, eh? I'll play that. That's nice. Um, I'll so, do you know so, anyone else before you came down to London? Yeah, you I met uh, some friends on a cruise ship. Oh, right, okay. And uh, came to stay with them, and they kept saying, oh, come and, you know, move to London, move yeah. to London. And, yeah, eventually I did. Yeah. Did you ever work up in Derby then before you moved yeah. down? Yeah, yeah. I had my own uh, hairdressing business. Yeah. It's very light to hold this hair. Uh, try to put loads of it so I can hold it. Strong, wonderful. Right, um, <laughs> What a transfer, mate. Oh, oh. See you before and after. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I hate these rooms. These rooms have so got to be sorted.
that be? Yeah, no, it's cool. Good, yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. Makes change. Your, yeah. your brother's much longer. So we kept the length, which is cool. No, it's good. Hello, I think I'm going to see you. Good, thank you. It's lovely to meet you. Yeah, and you. Yeah, and, uh, in for some colour. I know, push him by the hair, bring him back. You are? Push him by the hair, bring him back to change the colour. If I'll he's back. Well, you, do you want to do a I bit of colour as well? I just get some loads of highlights worked on this Yeah, so, yeah that'll be cool. Um, there we go. Goodbye, salon. Oh, Ollie, yeah, my lipstick. <laughs> lipstick. Bless him, I tease him so much about that hair colour. <laughs> What would you do if you put your towel in there and a hand came up and <laughs> oh. I, I was thinking Freaking to do out, that huh? to some of my clients. They're nice, those twins, aren't they? Yeah. They're quite sweet, aren't they? Yeah. Quite good looking, aren't they? Pardon? Quite good looking. Well, all right. Huh? All right. <laughs> you get embarrassed to say <laughs> It's funny when you say that, such and such is good looking. I, I think everyone's like good looking in their own way, aren't they? Well, not from here. I, I can't say all there. You know, I, I can see good looking. Well, the thing is, I think the British men are gorgeous. Do you? Well, I think so. At the end of a busy first day in the salon, the staff have pruned and pampered 22 happy customers. As a treat, Paul offers his new staff a celebratory glass of champagne, but gives them one last managerial word of warning. We're not going to be late tomorrow, OK? I'm yeah, sorry, I'm very really sorry. I did apologise. I did apologise. I'm not taking the piss, but I did apologise. <laughs> and when I turned out, I didn't actually realise I was late until they went to me. And I was like, oh, my God, I didn't know I was late. And they were like, what time you got to be here tomorrow? 9.45, no, 10.30. So I thought it was between 9.45 and 10.15. You've got between 9.45 and 10.15. Yeah, you've got to be in here. 15 minutes before the first class. Latest you're ever going to be in here is 10.15. It's 10.15.